Winter is coming fast. The city of Burlington is already starting to prepare their staff. On October 24th to the 26th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., City View Park will be closed to train the city's snow fighter team ahead of the winter months. Manager of Road Operations, Mark Adam, believes the park offers a great space to train their team. Our snow fighters uh, during the course of a winter uh, snow event uh, come across a variety of obstacles and uh, weather scenarios. and uh, It's important for us to have a a training area that uh, we can simulate some of these uh, conditions that they'll meet in a snowstorm and City View Park provides that uh, area for us. To make sure the snow fires are prepared for the challenges Mother Nature throws, the City of Burlington trains them in various areas. In order to prepare for this um, type of weather uh, conditions that they're going to meet, go through uh, um, a combination of in-house, uh, in-class lectures as well as uh, practical hands-on uh, training. Um, we cover such things as uh, uh, policies and procedures and uh, safe job practices as well as uh, uh, hands-on stuff such as um, mounting and dismounting the plows or equipment maintenance. The underlying goal of the snow fighter training is to make sure they are confident in themselves and their abilities. The training success when our operators can um, feel confident uh, at the beginning of the season they're uh, prepared, uh, they feel prepared to go out, um, they've been refreshed in, the, in their training. And we know it's a success um, when they complete their, uh, their task in a safe and efficient manner. A key piece of information that Mark Adam and the City of Burlington want to get across to the public is to wait 24 hours after the final snowfall to call in for any issues you may be experiencing. The reason being it does take a lot of time to plow every single street in the City of Burlington. In addition, they want to make sure the phone lines are clear for any emergencies. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Jake Howarth.